is important to bring outdoor education into children's life because it helps children, it helps them uh, to be healthy. Uh, when they are outdoor, they are more healthy physically, they are more fitter and they are also healthy psychologically. also helps their learning, it boosts academic achievement and it helps them enhance their motivation to learn. They are more curious, they can touch things, they can uh, smell things, not only see them and hear them as in ordinary classroom. Really experience from schools which use outdoor learning approach as well as research all over the world proves outdoor learning really helps children with learning and health. We need a big fundamental change in how we approach living on this most beautiful amazing planet we live on. Because of the individualism that has captured people for so long we've become disconnected from each other, from nature etc and we really need to change this quickly and what better way to start than with the children. If they can see the world through these eyes right from when, as they're growing up, then we can bring about the most beautiful, wonderful change in this world that most of us, all of us, I'm sure, would really love to see. C'era una distesa di rovi e delle piante un po' inaccessibili che non ci potevamo andare e invece adesso eh, le abbiamo tolte tutte, abbiamo, è venuto il trattore e poi abbiamo, ci abbiamo piantato tante piante. Adesso è, è, un, è una specie di orto che l'abbiamo chiamato food forest che significa foresta commestibile. Foresta perché un po' è come se piantassimo tantissimi alberi e è commestibile perché le piantiamo perché dopo ci danno delle cose da mangiare, tipo dei frutti. Ci sono dei ciliegi, delle prugne, poi ci sono tanti carciofi, poi ci sono anche le fragole delle piante aromatiche e poi c'è anche la prugna e l'albicocca. Why should we engage children in permaculture? I think it's a question of the survival of the species. <laughs> if we want to have a planet that is healthy, that supports life, we really need to change um, the attitudes of human beings. And there's no better place to start than with children who are just forming their worldviews and their ideas about uh, the earth and the world and their responsibilities and what is right and what is wrong. A lot of what children learn in the first years of their lives will affect how they interact uh, for the rest of their lives. So when in those formative years they're already uh, helped in creating attitudes of love and connection and care, not only towards human beings, but expanding that towards the whole ecosystem, towards plants, animals, towards the natural elements, and seeing everything as part of an interconnected web, then we have a much brighter future to look forward to. The reason we need to engage children in permaculture is because uh, of the way the world is today. Uh, we need hope and it's, it brings hope. It also brings care to the earth. It brings care to people. It's also about fair share. And this is actually the way that we should all be living. It brings positivism to life. The way the world is, it brings doubt to people. I know, especially adult, adults, and we think, okay, how are children going to grow up? How are we going to take care of our kids? But uh, bringing permaculture into our lives is actually bringing hope. Permaculture is important to bring to children's lives so that they can learn to look after the earth, to look after nature, to look after themselves and other people, and to take only a fair share. Of, their, of resources and to share fairly with their friends and with others. What are the benefits when I um, embed the permaculture activities into the curriculum? Well, 
this sounds really wrong, but um, it helps me be a lazy teacher because you have to work less hard. So for example, if you, have, you decide to have a school garden, you, you will mulch the beds to save you having to weed as much. So when you come back over the summer holidays, you don't have loads of weeds. I recommend embedding permaculture into education because we have a job as teachers to educate our children um, for the future. The future belongs to our children and we need to pass on a sustainable way of living. That isn't for somebody else to deal with, that's our jobs here and now. And we can do that in so many simple ways through permaculture that just make it a pleasure. The KIPP manual is a guide for educators, parents, teachers, especially working with children of kindergarten age and primary school age, uh, to bring or embed permaculture into education, into their home life or into their schools nurseries and places, environments where they spend time with children. The KIPP manual is bringing ecological education into the world in a very different and new way. Um, often ecological education limits itself to uh, pollution and to talking about the harm that human beings create in the world and how we need to reduce that harm. Um, I believe that the KIPP manual is much more than that. It helps children to cultivate real love and connection with nature. And what you love, you protect. So we want children to really grow up feeling fully connected to nature, to feeling part of it, not just to um, a narrative of themselves as uh, some type of destructive <laughs> add-on to the ecosystem which is doing more harm than good. Because if human beings fully embrace their responsibility towards nature, we can make this planet beautiful and productive and abundant. What the KIPP manual brings to the world, it's actually like a bridge. It's making a bridge, a connection from nature to us again. It's bringing the wisdom, it's bringing the knowledge It's there in the nature, in our ancestors, back to our generation. So that's why we need it. Mm -hmm.